Welcome back. As Africans, it is ingrained in us to take care of our parents and the elderly and should do this to the best of our ability. However, total commitment to this is declining due to pressures of the everyday living, limited time, funds, and lack of proper health care facilities. How do we take proper care of our senior citizens? Joining us on the show to discuss this is a geriatrician, I hope I got that right, Mrs. Bumi Aladetuyi. Welcome to the show, ma'am. You can call us on 070-8066-8214 to give us your view, or you could call us, or you could actually tweet to us at your view TVC. We'd like to hear your thoughts on this. But first, we'll have um, take a quick city pulse on this issue. I can take care of my aged parents very well, wherever they are. Even if I cannot take care of them, I will send somebody that will be looking after them. I will send money to them, ask their health, and how their fitness is. I will take better care of them. When they are with me, they see me every day. I mean, uh -huh. when they see my presence every day, they are happy, they are, they, there is no cause for alarm. But when they go to other places, that I can't even know how they are faring. I mean, they will not be happy. I don't have an aged parent, but if I do, I will take them there. In the sense that I think the, the home will provide some basic things that they need. Taking care of the old people, taking them to the old people's home where they can be taken care of is good and then taking care of them by your own self is also good depending on your own personal schedule if at all you are opportune or you have the time to take care of them on your own no matter you take care of your old age people when a man is a man or woman is old there are some certain attributes he or she possess so as a as my blood parents i would like to encounter every dancing whether it is ill or not that i saw in them but an outsider will not see that. You have to care for them by going closer to them. You make sure they eat whatever they want to eat. You change their clothes. Make sure the house that they are staying in, they are comfortable and every, every area is okay, is neat. You understand? My parents brought me up in order to make sure that when they are old, I should represent them. For me to take my parents, my old age parents, to, to any other place means that I have misplaced my priority. My priority is to make sure that proper care is being taken, of, is taken care of them when they are old. Uh, taking your parents to old people's home, I don't think it's really, it, it, it really matter. Because since your parents are taking care of you, you need to take, you need to take care of them back. It's vice versa. So I don't think there's point in taking them to old people's home. All right, interesting, welcome back. All right, we've heard different opinions on how to take care of our parents. And, uh, but what are your thoughts on taking your elderly to the elderly people's home? What, what are your thoughts on that? Because Nigerians are a bit skeptical on that. But what are your thoughts on this? How, how, how um, popular is this um, option? Um, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, taking uh, elderly parents to old people's home is, uh, recommended commended uh considering what you just mm. when you when you did the introduction that many people are busy many children are abroad their parents are here even if you are here you can't be with your parents all the time i think it's it's commendable really it's, yeah well, it's the a, african notion i said you must be the one to take care of your parents yeah and that's a, the culture when you're talking of culture you see woman culture as produce uh, uh, frustrating challenges hmm. uh, to, to uh, taking your, uh, your yes. elderly people, uh, caring for your elderly yes. people in the comfort of your homes. Because uh, many children abuse and neglect their parents. Hmm. Uh, when they abuse, you, you may not know, you can have your parents giving him or her uh, giving them food, drinks, buying expensive clothes for them, and you still uh, uh, neglect and abuse your mm. parents. Uh, one area is um, sometimes we say we go to work, we leave them with our ourselves, yeah. even relatives, we bring in relatives from, uh, from, <coughs> from the village to take care of them. Mm -hmm. These people abuse, they neglect mm. the, these old people. 
I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but they could do that in a home too. They could abuse your parents in a home. They could, because I know in a motherless baby's home, some of the um, people are wicked to the children. Yeah. It's not that I fully agree that our parents should be taken to old people's home. Uh, you see, when you, if you don't have time, if you don't have time to care for your parents, uh, it's, it's commendable, it's good to take them to old people's yes. home. Where you have, if you have <coughs> skilled <coughs> professional carers mm. to care for them, mm. Mm. if you have the, very, uh, the, the <coughs> opportunity yeah. to, 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 to watch them, mm. Mm. before you can have a residential home, that's what you call uh, old people's home, before you can have a residential home, there are a lot of things to take into consideration mm -hmm. and to put in place. Now, for some reason, for, for some example, now, someone like me now, mm -hmm. I mean, I can say it any day, any time. I took care of my father before he died. He was old. I did everything I was supposed to do. I cleaned him. I, I did everything, fed him. And I say it pridefully. But you see, that's because my mother was there making sure there was food in the house. My own job was just to make sure, clean him up and get you know, that, all that kind of stuff. It's always, and as a, if, if, if I had to do that now, I can understand and appreciate the challenge because I have to go to work in the morning, take care of two babies, three babies, the nannies, take, feed them, you know, feeding the whole house, myself and my husband. I can understand the strain it could have been. Now, you know, for a modern day family, how do we actually take care of our parents? Um, I would not advise that <clears throat> we uh, put the care of our elderly parents the, to the hands of uh, the uh, ourself or distant relatives. Mm. I will, uh, if you have your parent with you, like I have my own mother with me, mm. uh, I train her uh, on many, many things to do for herself, which you could not do when she was younger. <coughs> and uh, I make sure I do certain things before I leave home. Mm. She understands. I sit her down and I try to explain mm. to her this is what mm. life is now. Mm. The whole world is changing, mm. and we must also have that okay, change. Let me take a quick commercial break, and I'll come to Nima. We have to take, uh, we have to pay the bills. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So, uh, Nima, you're going to ask a question. Yes. I now I'm buying into this um, old people's home thing, but you know, for some parents, they won't feel at home when mm. they're not amongst family. In that situation, what do we need to learn to do, you know, to take make care them of them? Feel homely in, home, in yes. the in whole people's home. Uh, uh, to make them no, in, in at home, what okay. do we need to do to take care of them at home? Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to say that before <coughs> once before you can take care of your parents at home, mm. you must have the knowledge and understanding of the elderly. If you have the knowledge and understand their lifestyle. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a natural, progressive stage in human life. If you understand that, you won't compare your mom to yourself. Yeah. You'll be able to understand that, okay, this is the type of food she's supposed to eat, contrary to yours. This is the type of room she's supposed to live in, stay in. This is the type of bathroom she's supposed to use or bath seat. This is the type of <coughs> recreation she should have or a nag, a rest and uh, exercise. If you know all this, you'll be able to take care of your mom or your dad at home. If you can bath for an elderly person, your mom, you should be able to t uh, keep your mom or your dad at home. I know of one uh, 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 a person, a son, you know what, before his father died, he was bathing for his father, taking mm -hmm. care of his father in the house. You wouldn't know he can do that. That outside. brings me to the issue of trust. Because yes. my mom was sick, very sick at a point in time. She was hospitalized for a period of three months. The person that was supposed to care for her was irritated anytime he had to bathe her or do something. Mm -hmm. I had to leave school to do that myself because I hated the way he treated her. Now that is why I would prefer to keep her at home and do it myself. Do you understand? But because now what you have said, how many homes can we really trust, mm. you know, that will provide these things? Sans, let me take your question too. Now, uh, <coughs> you had said earlier that a lot of young people abuse. Uh, I, I watched the City Pulse and 
quite frankly, a lot of people within my age bracket would say they would take their parents to, to the old okay. homes. Now, as much as I love my parents, but it would really, really be hard for me to manage my schedule and that of theirs. So I'm thinking, wouldn't it be better if they're probably in an old home and they have elderly people they can go through experiences with? Because I personally may not have that patience to listen to them and to their demands. So what, 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 what <coughs> do you get my question? Yes, I buy the idea, I buy that idea to put your, uh, parents. Your, your parents in residential homes where mm. you have skilled professionals people who, who have the understanding, the knowledge, okay, why is my mom forgetting that uh, she has four children? Yeah. Why is my mom not taking a bath again, mm -hmm. like before? Why is my mom not taking much of vegetable before? Mm -hmm. If you understand that, if you have the, that understanding that they, they, they are changing, they, mm -hmm. they, they, okay, I, I, if you can understand that your mom cannot walk mm. okay. like walk like before the mobility has changed Let changed me, i wanted to show a, a quick documentary on on this on this issue on old people's home and how they're taken care of let's take a quick break and, 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 and see what we have here they are admitted on different levels some are brought by their children who are having difficulties taking care of them in their matrimonial homes some their children have traveled abroad some are abandoned by children who cannot stand using nappy for their parents that are defecating and urinating on beds. Some are childless. Some are brought by religious groups, while others are destitute, rescued from the streets. Pasamil Adebi is 83. He was brought here more than a year ago by a religious group. Ever since he got here, he spoken about his children, whom he said offended him a great deal, and says he no longer wants to set his eyes on them. This is his part of the fact that we gathered that one of his children is even pleading for a reunion. I don't, I don't just want the, there's no class between us. But to avoid minor problems, that's why I decided to stay alone. Office of Youth and Sports Development in Lagos is in charge of the home. Dolapo Badru is the special advisor to the governor on this matter. You are seeing three, four, five children. Now the parent is getting the parent is getting old. Not even a single one of them is ready to take the parenting. They just want to come and dump the child, uh, the, uh, the, the mother or the father on the government. And we investigate every application. We call them, counsel them, and tell them, look here, these are your parents. When you were young, you were defecating. When you were young, you were bedwetting. Sometimes all your counseling and everything fall on deaf ears, and we too tell them, well, I have this, the box stops on my own table. I'm not going to approve your application. So you go and find a way to take care of your parents. And that's where you begin to know who are the true African child. Old age is the end of human life circle. Death is inevitable at this stage. Badru also disclosed how their burial rights get done. Is in many cases, we just uh, hand over the case to the family. In instances where they are destitute, we need to involve the police and get the regular police report, the death certificate and everything like that. And uh, we, we do the burial, the commanders and foots the bill for the burial. Healthcare at this stage is very important. Doctors say as bodies age, they naturally deteriorate, but physical exercise, good diet, and routine medical checkups can help when the body starts creating non-functional cells. As you grow old, the eyes also grow old. We have like one minute left. Welcome back. Yes, YK. Yeah, I wanted to say, because to me, in Africa before, we used to take care of our elderly people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was normal, your, when, because we, as, like they said, when you were young, your parents look after you. So it was it's just a natural um, phenomenon that you look after your yeah. parents. So we, it's, we seem to have <coughs> cultivated this Oyimbo yeah. attitude. Well, of, let me well, ask you a question, because if, so if you have somebody that your parents probably didn't send you to school, mm. you struggled to pay your own school fees by yourself. You mm. struggled to live, they, they could not, not because they didn't want to, but because they couldn't afford to. They're also struggling. So mm. you went outside to start struggling yourself. Now, now you found your feet somehow. 
it's really hard for you to at least look back again because even you, you are still trying to get your feet on the ground. So I think mm. those are the parents of these kind of people because now you can easily take care of your parents because you're working, you, can, you, you have a house. But there's, there are our people out there that they don't have a house to stay. They are still squatting. So mm. if you want parents that, that is, it's so but hard. That does, not, that does not mean that one should abandon one's parents. Exactly. exactly. That's true. Very true. One exactly. should take responsibility. We are still going there. Mm. It's, the stage, it's the stage in life. Yes. Uh, we are still going there. And whatever we want others to do, what we want to, to, to do, do for others, we should be able to. Exactly. Yeah. The, yes. So mm. we, 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 need to, we need to have that mind. Yeah. Remember, you are going there. You're going to be yes. old. So yes. 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 For me personally, I don't buy that idea of, I, I, I buy the idea of uh, uh, putting your parents in, in a home, oh, but yeah. not to dump them there. At least you can afford to visit them like yeah. three, four times a week. Yeah. Because if my parents get to 85, and they will get to 85, amen, and I can't take care of them, the old home might be an option, but I'll task myself to, go and visit to them. always visit them. Nima, you're going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say that when I was growing up, I always heard my parents and my grandparents say that to take care of your grandparents means you're buying um, blessings future. for yourself and your children yeah. on board. Where does this um, statement stand in today's home, uh, pe uh, old mm. pe people's home yeah. thing? If, if they are there, if we are saying that they should be there, there are a lot of things you can do. Like It's just like they are in the village. You visit them like twice in a year, maybe you have your leave, <coughs> you spend your leave with them. You spend money, you send money to them, you allow them to have the, the the ownership of mm. the money. Yeah. Finance is very, very important. Mm. They have been performing some roles in the past. Now they cannot function. Mm. Now they cannot work. They don't have their own money. You should be able to send money to yes. them yes. Mm -hmm. regularly. Exactly. Yes, Nima, let's see some tweets on Elis this. Elizabeth Adovan says, I think taking your parents to old people's home show irresponsibility. They didn't abandon you when you needed them mm. the most. So why do that? True. It's not yeah. abandonment. So no, 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 yeah. Omole says, I think it's good to take care of our age parents because it, it, it rains down blessings, mm. just like I said. So no matter what, really, no matter what circumstance or situation you find yourself, you should be able to at least take care of your parents. Mm -hmm. it, it, then the, there's one thing. Was... Yes, there's one thing I want to say that yes. uh, if uh, in Nigeria, very quickly, ma if in Nigeria we have people who who takes care, uh, who take care of the the oh. the the um, disabled people. Yes. We should have NGOs, we should have government bodies okay. to uh, create resources for the elderly Fantastic. in the society. Okay. You create uh, 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 arenas for them, parties, you throw parties for them, like okay. three times in a year, you bring wow. them there. I it's think that's a good coming, idea. Yeah, it's a good, it's a yes. good idea. It makes sense, man. Yes, Thank you so much for coming. My, my daughter has yeah. promised me that she won't put me in an interview, <laughs> so. I, I always <laughs> thank God for the opportunity to take up my father. And, and also, him. when you have your own parents in your own home, yes. the, 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 the other siblings should be coming. Your children yes. will live. We have to end the show. Thank yeah. you so much, man, for coming. We appreciate you being here. Yes. Don't forget to watch your repeat broadcast tonight at 11.30 p.m. You can also watch previous episodes by going to YouTube slash TV Entertainment and search for your view. The best cure of, for breast cancer is early detection. Please get tested today. Ma, have you gone tested? Have you tested recently? Yes. Very important. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank All right. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.